Hey, so welcome to day 15 and it is Friday. I'm so happy it is Friday. So I have, they will allow class again. So I have a few minutes before my next class there at lunch now. So once they're done, I go there and I think that's it for today. Yeah, that's it for today. But today's affirmation for day 15 is, I forgive myself for past mistakes. Forgiving others is optional, but forgiving yourself is mandatory. It can be hard to move forward in life if you are holding on to your past mistakes. What purpose does it serve you to do that? None. It lives as an excuse to not, to not try to work towards your goals. <coughs> Set your soul free by learning to forgive your past mistakes. What from, what from your past are you refusing to forgive yourself for? Explore this in the following space. So, forgiving myself for my past mistakes. Ooh. Um, we all make mistakes, so that's nothing I can say like, oh, I don't have any that I um, regret. I do say this, like I still, to this day, um, regret, I don't, it is a mistake. Yeah, it was a mistake. Um, I wanted to go to FAMU. Uh, as you see, this is my college I graduated from, Mary University. But my dream since I was like in sixth grade was to go to FAMU. And I didn't go, and I didn't go because I was like so in love, you know, puppy love, whatever. And I ended up having a baby. Uh, and it being pregnant first before I, it wasn't, I didn't, I, was, I didn't have the baby until after the fact, but I ended up getting pregnant right after high school. Well, in high school, towards the end of, um, end of my senior year, and I ended up having a miscarriage. So I missed the deadline for um, housing. So when I had the miscarriage, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna go in spring, okay, not fall. I'll go in the spring semester. And I just, and back then, it wasn't, email I don't think he had emails like that like maybe people had AOL I don't think I'm saying my age but it wasn't as easy as it is now speaking to someone getting reaching someone or I just didn't know how to get in contact with anyone like that but I just knew it was just by mail regular mail to apply for it and go for it in spring semester but I ended up getting pregnant again living with my boyfriend which he became my husband we had three kids and all the other stuff but that's not the fact but that was my biggest, my for me, my biggest mistake. That was like, oh, I still regret it to this day. Like I really wanted to go to FAMU, live on campus. I was going to marry my cute dog, um, join a sorority. But I had to, I have to learn to forgive myself for that. Like that was something I can't even, I can't go back. Even if I could go back, uh, I, yeah, I would go. And I would, if I would have got pregnant, I would have just took my, took my baby up there to Tallahassee with me. That's what I should have did. I should have just took my baby to Tallahassee with me after I had her because there was one point at the time me and her dad did separate for a few months and I should have just took her went to Tallahassee and that's it. But hey, it is what it is. So that was one mistake that I, I have to learn to forgive myself. I just want one of my children to graduate from family, get a family diploma in my house. But you have to learn to forgive yourself. And another thing is, it, it is important to forgive others because once you forgive others, it's not really for them, it's for you. Like, I had to learn to forgive my stepdad, I had to learn to forgive my ex husband in order for me to move on with my life. Like, once I was able to forgive them and, you know, the things that happened transpired through the relationship, it was, it was okay for me. Like, I didn't bring, up, bring it back up or anything like that. I was able to move forward myself. Um, let me see, another mistake that I had, that I re had to hold, let's see. Hold on to past mistakes. One mistake that I'm holding on, let's see. Hmm. There are so many little things. There's some that's like little ones, but I'm trying to think what was a major one that was like life changing. Cause you know, like little mistakes could have been picking a car, picking the wrong car or going to the wrong, um, buying the wrong pair of shoes or spending money recklessly. Um, I don't spend, I mean, I spend money like sometimes like whatever, but not in that state. Like I didn't get like a $5,000 check and just, oh, you know what I do regret? <laughs> Past mistakes I think I should have done. 
Okay, so I did go to Barry University. I did take out student loans. I was a single mom. I just got divorced, went back to school. I did take, did take out student loans. And I wish <laughs> that I had used that student loans. I did use it to help me with bills, but I should have paid my house off with that. That's what I should have did. <laughs> that was a mistake. And now I kind of kick myself in the face like, oh my gosh. Like, I should have did that. I should have did... Um, spit that money i mean i didn't spend it on gucci and going out on trips and doing things like that but i did spend on helping with my bills and just buying little things and doing little stuff around the house and taking my kids places but nothing that was just like crazy so it really did help me financially with my um because i did work a job but just that one income and i was newly divorced so that was like it, it did help me a lot because i came for it was two incomes now it's one so that was one um but I think it's really important to, and I, I kick myself in the face sometimes like, oh, if I would have done this, if I would have done that thing, I wouldn't be in this situation now. Even when we had 2020, it was giving out that loan. I, I was like, man, I could have had $150,000 and that had to pay it back. And I kicked myself in the face for that too. You know, I did have legit business, so it wasn't like I was going to commit fraud or anything that I would I did have my notary business prior to that and I was everything was set up the correct way I had business credit I had my LLC I everything was done the correct way so it wasn't trying to commit fraud because baby I don't I don't play with jail or IRS or anything like that but or I don't want to pay nobody back period but I guess student loans but anyways so just um those little things I I still like it runs it, it replays in my head like if I would have went to a fan if I would have use that student loan money differently. Like if I had a mindset I have now, when I went to school and had that money, oh man, I definitely would be in, be in a better place right now. Even investing, I didn't know things about that. Uh, I wasn't familiar with that. I wasn't even learning about that stuff. I mean, a little bit, but nothing seriously. Um, I didn't have a business when I was in college. Like I did it after the fact. Even in my last semester in college, I was pregnant with my fourth child. I had a teacher who we were, oh, I can't think of the class name it was, but we worked on, I think was really an instructional design. And he was basically telling us stuff that we do now, how to create courses and classes for people online. And this was before 20, this was before, you know, 20 the shutdown. And we had to do a presentation, teach people how to do something that we already know how to do. Now that's my mistake right there. Cause, oh man, I could have been a course creator prior to, 2020 when the shutdown happened i could have oh man that i'm mad about myself like i kicked myself in the face for that and we had to create a course not a course a class or to teach people something somebody did a lot of bike riding someone did how to write a check um i did my own flag i taught someone how to spin the flag i used to be a flag in high school and i did a video we did a presentation and it just really it was so simple so easy and I had, I still had the book, and it was like he was telling us, <laughs> like he knew this is like going to be the new wave with the Zoom, everything, like the teaching and learning online, how popular it is now. It wasn't like that. It was 2017 when I graduated, and this is when I did my master's degree, and it was like that. I'm mad about. I'm super mad about. Um, but I just have to, even though I do reflect back on certain things that I did or I didn't pursue as I was younger, I wish I would have done it now. Even though I didn't do it then and the person I am now, I'm like, I learned those lessons. I passed it on to people I know, like even my children. And if I could go back, certain things I definitely would do differently. Um, but I think, and a lot of things, and I think that, well, I don't think I know, that holds me back a lot because I feel like, man, if I would have done this and done that, I would have, I wouldn't be in the situation I am not. And I get sad sometimes about it. I get discouraged about it. And I do cry sometimes and just like lay in the bed and just like, huh, did I get right back up and make a plan? Cause you know, I can't quit, I can't fail. Like I have no other option, you know, at this point. And it's not just about just, being this person who has X amount of followers or sales or things like that. It's just pursuing my dream, my passion, me doing what I want to do. Me doing what makes me happy. Because at this point right now, I'm 40. I want to be, um, there are things I want, goals I want to achieve, accomplish. I want to be um, 
working remotely, working from home. I want to be able to travel. I want to take my children places. I want to do so many other things. And I feel if I had done those things in the past, in my 20s and 30s, I would not be like this now in my 40s, trying to get to that point. But it's okay. I'm learning now to be patient. I'm learning now to be at my own pace and just wait on God and just don't quit. So that is my past mistakes. And I am working on it. I'm not over those <laughs> certain things, but I just, I reflect sometimes like, uh, but I still just work towards the goal I'm going towards now. So I don't make any of those big major mistakes, you know, later on down the line. You know, we all make mistakes here and there. But these are mistakes that I feel that could have been life changing for me, for my family, for my children. If I have done that, or just went with my gut. And that's another thing, go with your gut. Like there are some things, even when now in my party favorite business, loan signing, doing certain things. Well, when I was loan signing, um, my notary business, even now, like my degree is in um, human resources and I teach it right now. And it's like, there are things that I should have done when I knew and it was a you know approach to me and I just started learning that I, I, I should have went all the way. Like I like now I'm doing it now, but had I done it then, I would not be where I'm at now. You know, but it's all good. I just learned to like, I'm learning to just keep going. Don't give up, stop dwelling on the past. I can't get that time back. And worry about the time I have now, the time I'm in the future and just work towards those goals. So. If you are dealing with situations that you did not do some mistakes that you regret not doing or things that you did do, um, just look, look look at the bright side of it. Move forward. Um, it's not easy to forget because some things will remind you of that, like if I had done X, Y, and Z. But I would say just keep going, you know. At the end of the day, we, you're, you're alive. You're breathing. You're able. And just keep going. So... That is it. Um, I see you tomorrow for day 16. It is Friday, so the scenery will be different. I'm gonna do it at home, hopefully. Ledger allows me, <laughs> well, I can do it his nap time, but hopefully um, I'm able to keep this going and see you guys tomorrow, bye.